And welcome back. Here's a look at our first alert sky cam in Fargo. As we do look off to the north and to the west, saw some sort of su sunshine as we made our way through the day. And uh, now the clouds have moved in. In fact, this is the uh, north and east. And uh, as we make our way through the afternoon, we're going to have temperatures warming up. Let's take a look at the current temperatures around the region. Lower 60s right now into Lakes Country, mid to upper 60s from Fargo out toward Jamestown and points off to the south toward the South Dakota border. Not bad for this time of year into the mid 60s into the Devil's Lake Basin near 70 degrees into the Grand Forks area and lower 70s where they still have the sunshine into northwestern Minnesota. Winds across the region have been strong from a southerly direction. That is warming us up even though we do have a good amount of cloud cover. 20 to 30 miles per hour, maybe some gusts, 35 to 40 miles per hour. So prepare for that if you're making your way outside. There's the sunshine across northwestern Minnesota. Everybody else partly cloudy to mostly cloudy, and we are still tracking some shower we're starting to develop. They could develop into some thunderstorms, especially from the Devil's Lake area down toward Jamestown, Edgeley, and Ellendale. But most of the activity, at least over the next couple of hours, will stay in our western counties. We'll see what happens to make our way through later on to the afternoon and see if these actually indeed do make it into the Red River Valley. Do have this uh, cold front making its way through the low, well off to our west, out toward the Calgary area. High pressure to our south is also in charge. We do have that strong southerly flow. So temperatures on their way up. There's the chance of some rain showers in our western counties as we go through the afternoon. Otherwise, we will have partly to mostly cloudy skies and temperatures reaching the low to mid 70s across the region today, falling back through the 60s this evening. And then going through the day tomorrow, we do have a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. They should be uh, isolated in the morning, scattered into the afternoon before they start to dissipate tomorrow night. And tomorrow, temperatures falling by just a couple of degrees. Then we're tracking a stronger system that will make its way through late Saturday night into Sunday. Here's what it looks like on the models. We do have a marginal risk of severe weather as we go through the overnight Saturday into Sunday. We're going to keep our eyes on this one as uh, we go through time. Uh, it looks like the strongest storms will stay across portions of South Dakota, but the timing on this one is late Saturday and through the overnight on Sunday. Uh, damaging winds, large hail is possible with these. So let's recap this afternoon. We do have partly to mostly cloudy skies and temperatures getting into the upper 70s into the Fargo air before falling later on this evening. Then we stay active. We have that chance of some showers and storms for tomorrow and that better chance Saturday late night into overnight Sunday morning. Uh, temperatures actually rising uh, from the lower 70s Friday to near 80 on Saturday, low 70s again on Sunday. Finally dry for Monday and Tuesday. Lots of sunshine, mid 70s to near 80. And another chance of some showers and thunderstorms for Wednesday as we stay warm for this time of year. High 78 degrees. As we heat up, we start to cook up some possible storms. A lot to watch out for. Thank you, Justin.